that it also recognizes great stories from around the country, and certainly A Chef's Life from South Carolina Television does just that. Please welcome the subject of The Chef's Life, Vivian Howard. Vivian. <laughs> Um, honestly, I do not know what I'm doing up here. <laughs> I've been listening to uh, everyone's stories and, and they're telling stories that matter so much. And all day I've been trying to figure out how what we do fits into the Peabody story. And, um, you know, A Chef's Life is about the people and the culture and the place of Eastern North Carolina told through the lens of food. Um, and we did 13 episodes in the first season. Each one is about one ingredient, and we tell that, that, the story of that ingredient through our community and our culture and our restaurants. So it's definitely a hybrid television show. You know, it's not a cooking show, although it is about food. It's not a travel show, because we do, really don't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> um, it's kind of exotic because Eastern North Carolina could be compared to Pakistan in, in some ways. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, but it really is, uh, it's an interesting show and it's been an amazing journey. Uh, about four and a half years ago, I was invited to make collard kraut with my neighbors um, in Pleasant Hill. And I thought at that point that I knew everything that there was to know about Southern food and cooking because I was a chef from New York. Um, and uh, so I went and spent the morning in the back shed of uh, this yard with these four men, all of them older than 60 years old, and they're making collard kraut, and they're, sh they're sharing with me the folklore surrounding it. You can never make kraut when the farmer's almanac is in the sign of the bowels. Um, women do not help. Um, you, you, they only use this one seed that they've been carrying down for years and years and years. And I was just totally fascinated, and I thought there's so many stories to tell right here in my backyard. Um, and so I, I don't think, I'm telling you this because I don't think that television shows happen in this way um, nowadays. So I, I became obsessed with this idea of telling these stories of Eastern North Carolina foodways, and my husband got sick of hearing it. And he said, why don't you call that Cynthia Hill? You know, she makes movies. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll call her. And calling, hoping she wouldn't answer, and she did. Uh, and so she grew up a country mile from me, and uh, turned out she was interested in helping me tell these stories. So we started with this very, you know, uh, maybe monochromatic uh, storyline. And then eventually, all of a sudden, my life and my family and my restaurant and all of this is a big part of it. And so over the course of three years, we made these 13 episodes all about the food, culture, and community of Eastern North Carolina, told through these ingredients. And um, it was very hard to do because the people on our team seemed to be the only people who believed in what we were doing. Um, my family, of course, did. And they all agreed to be a part of it because they didn't think anyone would ever see it. Uh, <laughs> Um, so it's been a very long journey, uh, but to answer the question that I was just trying to figure out sitting up there in that seat as to why we matter here today, why this story matters is because I think that the South, the American South, is so often portrayed in mass media as, um, you know, caricatures of ourselves. We all uh, fit inside this little box where we're ignorant and we um, can't speak. I'm not really doing us a service today, but <laughs> uh, I'm aware of that though. I'm not ignorant. <laughs> um, and 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 when you when you when you talk to people in the South on television, um, they you you don't see them as whole people. And our show we go in and I learn things from older folks um, in rural America. They teach me how to cook and I'm the chef. And so I think it's really important um, to see that there's wisdom in all 
far corners of our country and our world and to always have your eyes open because someone said earlier today that you can learn something from everyone. And I think that we need to all learn to t treat each other like human beings, whether you're from the South or the North or Pakistan or, um, and just have your eyes open. And I think our show does that in a very subtle, um, comfortable, way and it speaks to people all over the country you know um, it's funny when you when you are a part of a series that connects um, very right-wing farmers with very left-wing you know um, uh, foodie people and and they don't realize that they like the same thing <laughs> it's, it's very cool um, and I think that's all I have to say, if that's, <laughs> if that's okay. Um, thank you all so much for uh, having us be a part of this, for um, choosing A Chef's Life to be a part of the Peabody experience. It's, it's a tremendous, tremendous honor for us. Um, so thank you. Thank you.